Pulumi, we can describe infrastructure as code and manage the sales of Kubernetes clusters in a GitOps approach. Everything can be submitted to our Git repository. Pulumi, as it supports general purpose languages, it makes it very, very easy for us to write code because we already use this language. We can use Go because we write our microservice in Go. There is no difference between our application code and our deployment code. So we are able to use the same best practices. We can use the same deployment tool chain we already have for our application code. This is a huge advantage if we want to be sure that people all over the team understand it without learning a new language or learning a new DSL, for example. Another point what makes Pulumi very, very positive using it with Kubernetes together is the possibility to write policy as code in a programming language. So you can write a policy in TypeScript, for example, and apply it to all of your Kubernetes deployment. And people get in a classical shift left approach, get the feedback, hey, a, a replica is missing, or I forgot to set my resource text because there is no minimum or maximum memory set. That's very, very good for developers to get early feedbacks, to mitigate any errors early and just deliver high value and reduce any errors.